the preseason poll for the Big 12 in women's tennis has been released. Texas is number one, obviously, with eight first place votes. Oklahoma's number two with two first place votes. Those two are, to me, the best of the best. Oklahoma State, number three, I get. They're bringing a player, a really good player in the spring. Iowa State at four. Ah, that's a little bit high, but I could definitely see it. I definitely could see it. I just, last year, they practically lost every top 30 team they have faith. They faced last year, to be fair. Or even a top 25 team they lost. Practically. So, I'm not sure. But this is going to be a battle. Three through six. In my opinion. I would. Uh, even four through six. For sure. Four through six. Number three. You could throw it in there if you want. Kansas number five. I get it. Baylor six. Makes sense to me. I mean it really does given their question marks, and they're going to be so young. I mean, you're going to have at least four stars that are at least freshmen or sophomores combined with only two seniors. That's the thing. I get it. I totally, totally do for the preseason-wise. Text tag number seven, that's the lowest I've seen them have been in a while. Granted, I will say this. They have a new head coach. When you look at the roster, I know they added two other players, but they only bring back six others. And one of them is not their court one from last year. She's not on that list on the roster right now. That's a that's a problem. And I definitely could see Tex Tex slipping down to seven. Maybe you even want to extend it out to three through seven or four through seven on. The competition level this year because it's going to be a strong conference once again i do believe so obviously tcu number eight that makes sense kansas state nine makes a lot of sense to me because they deserve to be that that low given i know they only have fall five fall players and i know they're bringing in two but still yeah i don't like their roster so much <laughs> but they are Feisty a little, some. And West Virginia, number 10. Of course, they have to be there. They're one of the worst teams in the Big 12 for a while now. So, sometimes these preseason polls don't mean anything. Because it's all about what the team does on the court. And not only that, they're gonna get, it's going to get proven out. When Big 12 play starts, so I ain't worried about this. Because I knew the Baylor women could be in that mix through 3 through 6. I could see them as high as number 3, but I could see them as low as number 6. Maybe even number 7, if I'm being completely fair. It's only The only reason why I give them like, the benefit of the doubt over Texas Tech is Stability is better at Baylor right now. It is. It's better there. And they, I think they have a better lineup than Tex Tech anyway. That's in my opinion. But I have to say the Tex Tech players are bad. But when you look at, compare the roster, what they got between the two, Baylor's roster is a little bit better. And I'm not being biased. I'm totally serious. I mean, it's just a... And the thing is, the good news for Baylor is they'll host both Oklahoma schools and Iowa State this year in terms of the Big 12. That is a good thing. Besides West Virginia, but I mean, but when you look at it, they have three teams that are projected in the top four in the Big 12. They're hosting them. So that definitely helps. Granted, Texas is not at Texas, but, you know. And they, could have, they might have an opportunity to play them twice, depending if they somehow be U, University, like, Loyal or Marymount in their initial match, which Loyal or Marymount is a good team. So, let's just put this to the side. 
and I'm just treating it as like, okay, we'll have to see what happens on the court. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. It's going to 500 subscribers. We're on the road to it. Let's go.